Welcome to AQMD on the Air. I'm your host, Alan Caldwell. Every year, the AQMD opens its doors to student interns that are interested in learning about air quality issues and gaining practical working experience to further their careers. This year, we made a short film to share with you some of the experiences of our interns in the Office of Legislative and Public Affairs. Enjoy. Let's work together. Let's work together now. Let's work together. Let's work together now. Hi, my name is Andrew Alfonso, and my internship, well, in a nutshell, was more than I expected. You see, when someone thinks of an internship, they think of a job shadow. And that, of course, is doing whatever your supervisor doesn't want to do. But I was actually working. Yes, working. Hi, my name is Ida Solomon and I'm a governing board intern chosen by Michael Cacciotti and I've been working under the supervision of Jim Cloyd. Hi, I'm CY. I'm a biotech student, majoring in business, currently studying Cal Poly Pomona. I'm Laura Davis, a student at UC Berkeley studying environmental engineering sciences with a focus in air quality. Hello, my name is Adam O'Neill and I'm going to be a student at UC Irvine this fall. Hi, my name is Fabiola Lau. I'm a second year graduate student at USC working on my Master of Public Administration with an environmental management focus. My name is Sam Shimizu Jones. I'm a Loyola Marymount film production student. Hi, I'm Nicole Silva and I'm currently um, an intern for Legislative and Public Affairs. I report directly to Ricardo Rivera. My name is Amy O'Shea and I'm a recent graduate from Purdue University with a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science and a minor in Earth and Atmospheric Sciences. Hello, my name is Cesar uh, Garcia. I am a MPA student at Cal Poly Pomona. Hi, my name is Ashley Jones. I'm a graduate student at Cal State San Bernardino. Hi, my name is Helen and I'm a graduate student getting my master's degree in Public Administration at Cal Poly Pomona. My name is Larry Chung and I'm a student at UC Riverside studying political science and public policy. My name is Noe Torres. I am an intern from Cal Poly Pomona. Hello, my name is Whitney Coleman. I'm a graduate of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York, and I graduated with my bachelor's degree in electronic media arts and communications, along with my master's degree in human-computer interaction. One of my major projects assigned to me is to develop market research and a work plan for Chinese advertisement. This is my first time creating a work plan, which requires focus group and detailed information of the whole Chinese demography in LA. I definitely learned a lot from this work plan, especially the importance of focus group. From the focus group analysis that I did, there are a few things that we can do to attract Chinese community involvement in fighting the air pollution with us. I've been able to learn so much through researching and helping develop new technologies for public outreach. Specifically, I've been able to participate in the development of the AQMD widget and the iPhone application. I've also had the opportunity to improve my public speaking through various presentations to tr truly amazing audiences. All in all, I have gained an invaluable experience and am so thankful that I have had this opportunity at such a wonderful company. One of the main projects that I would like to highlight today is the Children's Activity Book. The Children's Activity Book gave me the opportunity to not only create a storyline, but also embody one of the main characters, Mary E.D. The Children's Activity Book gave me the opportunity to not only hone my writing skills, but my, my creativity as well. I'm very excited to see the end product, product of such a collaborated effort. I have previous um, air quality policy experience at the state level, and this internship has been providing me with the necessary tools that I need to transfer those skills at the regional level. So far, it has been a very rewarding experience, and I'm also being able to use uh, my Spanish translating and interpretation skills. Uh, my first assignment was to create a three-minute news segment for AQMD's On the Air program. And secondly, I propose to do a documentary on the Clean Communities Plan. And the Clean Communities Plan is an action plan that combines both new and traditional ways of reducing air pollution in the South Coast region. The most important assignment I have worked on so far is a fact sheet of SB 375. This bill looks to integrate housing, land use, and transportation in order to reduce greenhouse emissions. This bill also asks for coordination between cities and the different agencies through a sustainable community strategy. And also, um, 
and it will encourage development to, through the CEQA streamlining process. The most notable project I've worked on thus far, which is still in the works, is drafting an executive order to establish legal limits on the amount of air pollution marine vessels are allotted. Much of the air pollution in Southern California is from the movement of goods, which goes largely unregulated. After touring communities here, which are specifically affected by marine vessel pollution, I am personally motivated to make a difference on this issue. The two main projects I've been working on are the Latino Media Ad Campaign and the James Olmos PSA. The Latino Media Ad Campaign will have two purposes. The first one is to inform the Latino community of what AQMD is and what they do. The second one is to raise air quality awareness in the area. We will do this through a four-prong approach, internet, radio, TV, and print. At AQMD, I have been working on an outreach plan for the Vietnamese community. In the process of drafting this plan, I have established a goal, which is to develop and foster a mutually beneficial partnership with Vietnamese American in the Little Saigon region of Orange County in order to work together to ensure that all air quality projects, initiatives, and education campaigns are supported and implemented. Since I've arrived here, I've worked on several different projects. I authored a student outreach proposal and have worked with several other interns to create a full curriculum with PowerPoint presentations and scripts to present to different um, school children from elementary school to high school. Additionally, I worked, um, I voiced an interest in SMS texting and presented a presentation about SMS. I've also been involved in revamping the kids' activities book and I've worked on a variety of other small projects. I've also had the opportunity to participate in events um, that are outreach for like Sparks games and other things like that to inform the public of what we do here at the AQMD. Overall, this experience has been more than I could have imagined. We got an extensive training that I thought was um, invaluable because even other uh, employees who have been here for years had said that they wish they got something like that and to think that we got that as just interns, that meant a lot, seeing that we were cared about. I've also been given tasks to work on state and federal legislation. Most notably, uh, the 3010 measure, I put together a presentation for that. And what that does is it aims to complete uh, transit projects over the next 10 years instead of the next three decades. Um, I found that this internship has been more interactive than others I've experienced in the past. Um, it really gives you a chance to find creative solutions to problems. My summer here though at Air Quality Management District has been a truly unique learning opportunity. I haven't spent that much time working in a more, uh, it's not corporate, but you know, government run uh, place doing video. And so it's been a great experience learning how people work in this type of environment. But this collaborative process, um, as far as meeting people, was a humbling experience, and I think that's the greatest thing that you can take as far as even with my academic and my life success. Um, being able to be humbled and be able to learn information from colleagues, from friends, um, and then also being able to share some of the things that you know. Um, and just that journey along the way of being able to gain and also to share information was a great experience for me. Um, I think that I'll be able to take this along, uh, not only just for my academic career, but for my professional paradigm. Um, and it was a great opportunity, very grateful for it, and thankful for the journey. I wasn't at a coffee machine. I wasn't getting bagels. At the Legislative and Public Affairs Department, I was doing real world work. And it started with my training. It was a great stepping stone. And now, I've created several presentations, I've created a list of college organizations, and I'm actually going to present soon. So thank you for giving me this great opportunity. That's our show for today. Thank you for watching AQMD on the air and helping us clean the air that we breathe. Let's work together. Let's work